there youtubers doing a partial installation video gotta be careful here i9 13900kf going into this gigabyte eris elite ax uh, z690 and then we will uh hook up the arctic liquid freezer 280 aio so that's two 288 millimeter it's basically two 140 millimeter fans on that radiator uh, we're not going to show everything so i'm not going to show you me hooking up the 24 pin connector there or the one by eight and the uh the one by four cp power connector uh nor will i show you this all right so just starting off folks you can already see i've done some work here here's our backing plate four nuts on it there's four washers in there as well um and then you've got these standoffs here so this thing's ready to go from that aspect all right now we want to keep this lid on until we're ready to put the cpu in and as i rotate this up there's a triangle right here folks that's what you want to line up your uh, cpu with so i don't knock the camera stand over so currently this is my favorite motherboard and this is going to be my favorite uh, cpu so we've got that triangle right here it's actually a triangle there too i'm going to put this in here i try uh a lot of times to do this two-handed just in case i drop it and so you want to make sure you go around that this thing is level all right and oddly enough something usually these things uh don't move around all right so it's in there now you could pop this off if you want the directions say to leave it on and boom okay and after i do that i always check to make sure my cpu is still seated because i have seen this thing pop out of there it looks good so we're going to drop that down if you don't do that step right folks you will damage your cpu all right and that is no bueno right all right now we've got a bunch of different types of thermal paste over here to include the arctic stuff that came with it i'm not a big fan of their thermal paste we will use Noctua, all right? I think this is cost anywhere from, I don't know, 10 to 15 bucks. Now I like to do the three line technique. The base plate of this is rectangular, so uh, we will want to ensure that this spreads along the length of it. You could put one big dot in there. Sometimes, you know, that works. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, Obviously, with a lock CPU that's got a round bottom on the stock cooler, that is potentially probably the best way to do those because it doesn't make contact with the whole CPU or this thing is going to make contact. And, of course, there are certain areas in this that get hotter than others. So, to be honest with you, there's all kinds of ways one can do this, right? And you will see videos out there that talk about the best way to do it. So what I like to do is this third line is usually thicker. And maybe like a bigger blob in the middle. And like that. All right. Now I don't have a CPU frame here. Honestly couldn't figure out if it is uh, worth a crap for this. Um potentially for you know they say for the 12th gen i'm not sure the problem exists for 13th gen so we are not going to uh, worry about it all right so we previously checked to see if this would line up i had the cpu cooler on there and there in all the holes 
Here's the nuts. There's four of them. So we don't want to tighten this one all the way down, but um, I definitely want to make sure that we don't have any problems. So I'm going to go um, diagonally. And I think you guys can see that. I dream of the day, folks, that I got a 4K camera that has a massive screen on it. When I do this, it doesn't get in my way, though, somehow. Magically, it doesn't get in my way. I don't know how that's going to work, but right now, even the cell phone gets in the way. All right, so try and get that on there. And then this side, folks. And so we'll gradually tighten these down. So went diagonally. And we'll get these closer to being down there. So unlike the CPU frame, all right, so now we're just going to go around, around in circles, and looks like they're getting pretty tight, folks. That one's done, that one's done, that one is done. All right. So it's a lot easier to access all this stuff. Now, here is my 5600 megahertz RAM. So you got eight sticks here. Um, whoops, we're gonna put this in A2, B2, like the directions say, right? We want dual channel. And one side is shorter than the other, and the same with our RAM. So. I'm going to bring it in like that. And you should hear a double snap just like that. Looks like I did a lousy job on the camera work there, folks. Uh, but this one, you guys will get to see. So eventually I will buy another eight, uh, well, excuse me, another 16 gigs of this RAM. Because there will be uh, barely any performance improvement, but why not, right? Um, sadly, I should have just bought two more sticks of the 4800 megahertz that I have that I'll probably never use again. Uh, so, folks, this is this is going to do it. Now, I will need a graphics card with this CPU, right? So, not sure which one we'll do there. Probably one that we can do some good gaming on. And you see already that I have all the heat sinks removed. We'll find a spot for this um, and tighten it down with the M.2 screw. That's going to do it, folks, for this video. Thanks for checking out. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.